Plaintiff Aaron Knox says he left a dangerous neighborhood in New Jersey and moved to Georgia where he met the defendant. Aaron claims the defendant was a nice suburban boy and being around him was great because he never had to worry about being shot at or arrested like in his former neighborhood. However, Aaron's suing him today for stolen property. Defendant Nicholas Bell says Aaron is such a smooth talker that he could sell ice to an Eskimo. Nicholas claims Aaron is a swinger who preys on older women. And he once walked in on Aaron, giving a massage to a woman who is nearly 70. Nicholas is countersuing for unpaid wages. Start with you. All right, I met the uh, defendant Nicholas Bell about two years ago. Uh, we hit it off real good. He, see, he had a lot of energy, a lot of charisma about him. And uh, he's not used to, he not, it's not what I used to. I'm used to guys from the hood. That's where I came from, Trent, New Jersey. He's from the suburbs. So when suburbs I got Suburbs of what? The suburbs of Canton, Canton, Georgia. And I'm from Trent, New Jersey. It's, it's, it's rough out there, there's a lot of violence. And I left and I came down here. So being around Nick was cool because if I got in the car with Nick, I didn't have to worry about nobody shooting at us. I didn't have to worry about the cops pulling us over, finding drugs in the car, or guns, and being arrested. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, locked up before a few times. I went to jail for 10 years, mm. saying from 16 to 26 it's years a old. Long bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I came down here and dealing with somebody like him, I'm like, that's cool. So we was going out to parties, club hopping. He'd get me in any club I wanted to. We was in Atlanta. So we'd get to the club, it'd be packed two lines around the corner, $50 to get in. Nick, he'd go to the back door, say a few words to somebody, and get us right in. Free of charge. Uh, Atlanta, all the clubs around Atlanta, we're going down to New Orleans doing it, uh, North Carolina, Virginia. That's just the type of person he is. So mm -hmm. I'm partying every week with this dude. And I miss my youth. You get what I'm saying? I miss 10 years. So being right. around him, it's like I'm getting my youth back. Mm -hmm. I'm 30. I'll be 30 next month. He's 20 years old. I got him about 10 20. years. Yeah, so being mm -hmm. around him is like giving me my life back. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like, um, next thing you know, I mean, he can see three girls right here standing right there. And be like, watch this. He'd tap me, watch this. Walk over there, say a few words to the girls, call me over there. I walk over there, next thing you know, I'm a football player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how does, how does this happen? You know what I'm saying? So I rose with it. You know, we had fun with him, whatever. And this was every week. This became my life. You get what I'm saying? Every single weekend. Make it up for the time lost. I had to. You want to give me some background, sir? Yes. Um, well, when I met Mr. Knock, you know, he, he seemed like a cool guy. He, He's all right. I mean, he says I'm the smooth talker. That's definitely him. You know, he could sell ice to an Eskimo. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I mean, he's, a, but he's a, like, he prowls on the older women. Like, that's his thing. Straight, he gets them to take care of him, do his hair, dress him up. Okay. Like, older well, women, that's his thing. So he goes to the nursing homes or what? <laughs> I mean, prowls. I mean, I mean, senior citizens, apartments. I mean, I mean, I don't know how he, fo I don't know how okay. he found them. That's what he does. Go ahead. I mean, I walked in on him one day and he was rubbing down a well, six year old. She had to be pushing 70, like just rubbing her down all sensual. And I'm like, whoa. And I'm looking at him crazy. And he looks at me. He looks I at do like, massage her on So I'm looking at him like, whoa, like, what are you doing? So <laughs> she leaves and I'm like, bro, what was that? You know? And I was like, what are you doing? And he, he looked at me like, man, he's like, I was rubbing hundreds right there. He's like, that's all That's money. right, he massages. Mm -hmm. Like he says, he's a masseuse. He's rubbing hundreds, mean he's being paid to massage. So kiss on him too? Oh. No, I don't know oh. about that. Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> huh? But other than that, you all would go to clubs together and enjoy the fun together and all around. And who would get in the clubs the easiest? That was you? You were the yeah. man or he? You no, know, see, I was a man. I was a man with that. But until, you know, he, I went around his crowd. You know, I was like, okay, you know what I do. You know, take me around. Let me see what you do. So he mm -hmm. invites me to a, a little kickback. You playing so bingo? Oh, oh, man. <laughs> no, 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 that's no. what his crowd did. Oh, ladies, right? No, that's what would yeah, happen? Yeah. So, I, so I go, I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I knock on the door. As soon as the door opens, everybody's butt booty naked. Straight swinger party. And he's a swinger. I didn't know. He's orgies, like, crazy. <laughs> everybody's naked. Like, oh. ain't never seen nothing like that. And he's just having, like, the time of his life. I guess 10 years, he's making up for lost time. I don't know. <laughs> Plaintiff Aaron Knock is suing his former friend who claims Aaron preys on older women. And he once walked in on Aaron, giving a massage to a woman who is nearly 70. Tell me, uh, why are you suing him for a stolen property? What happened? Okay, the reason I'm suing Nick today, um, when I got out of prison in 2013, I was like, I'm never going back. I vowed to never go back. Good. I'm never going back. 
So what I did was I still had the hustle in me. I still had the grind in me. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I started twisting locks. I started doing hair. I was selling weave. I was selling uh, dresses, sunglasses. Weave or weed? <laughs> <laughs> hair weave, or like, both. like Brazilian hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, not oh, weed. Yeah. I don't no drugs. All right, good. Honest. So mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I was working in a, uh, the salon, I ended up a, a bunch of women were coming back there. So I said I need to market to these women. So they were coming in and talking about their men problems or whatever and talk about adult novelties. So I said, I can do that right there. So I... Rocking chairs? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what type of... Adult toys, toys <laughs> like, like bullets, rabbits, sexual toys. All right. So I started a company called The, uh, the Pleasure Is Yours. Mm -hmm. And because I, was, because I didn't want to keep just hustling, just stuff, I wanted mm -hmm. to be like a, a real business, so I got it legalized. So mm -hmm. that's why, you know, I got the name or whatever. Right. So I took everything I had, Yon. I had about, I saved up about five or 6,000. And I started from the bottom. Ain't nobody helped me with nothing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I got pictures of my store. Mm -hmm. So I went to Nick and I'm like, uh, you know, I need somebody to help me with my store. Right now, I don't have the money to be able to pay, put you on salary. Uh, Get that senior citizen table, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's it. <laughs> go ahead. You went to him and you said what? <laughs> so I tells, um, I tells Nick, I said, look, I opened up a store and I really need your help. I can't pay you right now because all my money is just tied up into the store. If you can just open up till I get off of work uh, and help me out, that'd be fine. So he agreed to, to help out, to just fill in. And I was like, I'll give you about like $50 a week just to uh, help me out. He How many was, hours did you expect him to help out or did he help out? He was supposed to be there for three days out of the week. How many hours a day? Uh, let's see, he's supposed to get in there about 12 and I got off at five, so that's about uh, five hours. Five hours times three, that's 15 by your own account. And you were giving him $50 a week? $50 a week. And I was just to help out. It wasn't, yeah. I was only doing that, for, uh, you know, out of the kindness of my it's heart. part-time work, sir. That's a part-time job. I just wanted him to help me get this. All right, so. Because I told him in the beginning, the, the store is not going to make that much All right, money. well, you tell me. I, you don't even have to tell me why he ripped you off, because I just heard why. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> tell me what. <why. laughs> Tell me what happened. You can give me the facts, okay. but I know why. He's All right, I'm going to tell you what happened. This is what happened. <laughs> so that was in May of 2015 mm -hmm. he came in there. By July 2015, I did inventory. When I did inventory, my numbers didn't match up. My numbers didn't match up with my money. This is the, um, the inventory it, sheet, and this is Thank the you. items that were missing. So when I did the inventory, I was missing... Uh, 15 monkey bars. Why did you write in cold? Do you know I mean, this is legal. You don't have to write in cold anymore. What's it, what's the... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you yeah. Two of them things. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> Three birds. <laughs> and such and such and such and such. I'm just kidding. He's, <laughs> he's, I'm just kidding. So. Well, this is some. Yeah, it's is some you could have found it. You should have rode in cold, quite frankly. <laughs> oh, this, I, I, this is funny. This is funny. Oh. Uh, some of this stuff I can't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll repeat, and this is the most decent stuff I can say. Handcuffs, <laughs> butterflies kiss, massage oils. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. But I was listening. I was missing four disco light up stripper poles. At uh, they cost two seventy a piece. I was missing fifteen monkey bars, at hundred dollars a piece. Seven door swings, uh, for four ninety. So when I noticed that, I was like, I gotta uh, approach him about this. So at first he was like, uh, he tried to deny it, and then he like, ah, right, you know what? Yeah, I stole it. I took your stuff because I I believe that I was owed that. I went out and I sold your stuff, and I believe that I was owed that money. Plaintiff Aaron Nock is suing his former friend, who claims Aaron preys on older women. And he once walked in on Aaron, giving a massage to a woman who is nearly 70. Sorry, let me hear from you. See, the reason, no, see, like you said, he was giving me $50 here and there, a total of like $200 within the eight week time span. What was the agreement? It was, there, w there was an agreement. Like, he said he's going to help me. Like, you know, he's going to throw me some bones. I'm like, all right, you know, and I'll, I'll help you out. Like, but he was giving me, like, $50 here and there. I spent that on sneakers. Like, How easy. many weeks did you work there? Eight weeks. Well, that's, you knew the first week. Hold on. You knew by no, the... 
By the second week, you knew for sure all you were getting is $50 each week. By the third, you definitely knew. Fourth, you definitely knew. Fifth, you should have known. Sixth, if you didn't know, shame on you. Yeah. No, it, was, it wasn't each week. I mean, I told you, like, you know, I'm telling you, he's a, he's a finesser. You know, I was like, I didn't realize he was getting me till, towards the end. Once I realized, once I realized, like you said, like, the fifth week, I'm like, okay, I'm not getting paid. So I started taking a little off the top. <laughs> How much of the man's uh, items did you um, take? I took four disco stripper poles, little light up things. The Eight light up months. ones, Judge. Oh, the I light could've... up ones, not regular ones. They lights up. I could have took every. <laughs> that raises it. Yeah, that raises yeah. the price. They, 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 yeah. they light up. They, 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 matter of fact. <laughs> I got All some. right. What else, sir? Yeah, but this is through the course of this is through the course what of time. What else? Eight monkey bars and five swings. Oh, yeah, that's the girl, the other one, that's the girl who he, I went to her house. I was to get my hair done. I see a light up pole laying down. <laughs> <laughs> He's so under. So I says, you know, that's a cool pole, you know, like, where you get it from? We cool, why you ain't buy it from me? That's how I'm looking, like, where right. you get that pole from? Oh, I got this from your store. Yeah, who you bought it from? I bought it from Nick. How much did you, uh, he charged you for this pole? Well, I went in there, he told me this pole was 270, and she said, that's too much. This guy gives her the number, hits her up later, Charges her $100 and to get his hair retwisted a few times. Your counterclaim, sir, how does he owe you? $2,700 for unpaid wages, I can imagine, but you tell me. I was working for him. I mean, I say I was working like 50 hours a week, 12 hours. Like, I it was I'm, close man, two I was, days out of the week. Okay, but I'm working like 12 hours in there. Like, I'm hustling, even when he's there. He just sits up there like a fat rat and chilling while I'm hustling. <laughs> I'm working hard. <laughs> so, you know, after eight weeks, that equaled up to making minimum wage, bare minimum, which is $7.25 in Georgia, is $2,900. And he gave me $200 in, to you know, in total with a little 50 here and the 50 there. So that's $2,700. I figured he owed me. Okay. Sir? I believe you told him you'd give him something. And he went eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so you should have known by that fifth week. So I may give you five weeks worth. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one was on you. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you $750, sir, for your wages. And I'll give you your $3,070. He had missed to taking your property. Have a good day, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Nick, that's crazy, yo. Like, you know... You know for I a fact, like, I helped you out. I drove, when you ain't have no car, you had nowhere to go. I drove you to all your jobs, all them job interviews out there, too. I never charged. I'm not no Uber. I drove you around the whole Atlanta. Huh? I mean, you gave me nothing. You get what I'm saying? Bro, you gave well, me... He gave you all that fun. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm in 10 yeah. years. Thank Let you. Let me alone. Thank you. Y'all gonna shake hands. Thank you. Right. Shake hands and thank him for the fun and thank him for the toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, I'm too good, man. No, I'm not too good.